In Newsweek magazine, some years back, in an article entitled, O Lord, Who Wrote Thy Prayer? O Lord, Who Wrote Thy Prayer? A group of theologians in the U.S., they, after analyzing, these are theologians from all of the major sects of Protestantism and Catholicism, they gathered together and they formed a group which they called the Jesus Seminary. The Jesus Seminary. And they wrote a text which they referred to as the five Gospels. In this text, they mentioned the well-known four and what they did was they color-coded the text into different colors. One color represented the text which they were certain or reasonably certain that Jesus actually said. Then the next level of color coding were texts which were possibly what Jesus said. Then what was highly unlikely that he said. And then that which was absolutely certain he didn't say. So they gave it different grades with different colors. The fifth gospel was the gospel of Thomas, which had been discovered in uh, 1945 in Egypt, in, the, in Nag Hammadi, written in Coptic, a translation, and which had confirmation from documents of the first and second century bits and pieces which had existed in Greek. Prior to that, people didn't know what these documents were related to. And it was after the discovery of that Coptic translation that they realized that these were bits and pieces of the Gospel of Thomas. Anyway, the point is, this group, the Jesus Seminary, they concluded, after analyzing the Lord's Prayer, what is known in Christianity as the Lord's Prayer, it begins, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, so on and so forth. Give us this day our daily bread, and etc. This is the standard prayer for Christians. Similar to Al-Fatiha, for Muslims. Muslims recite the first chapter of the Quran in their daily prayers. So for Christians, the Lord's Prayer is the most central prayer shared by all Christians. And in the biblical context, in the Gospels, it is Jesus who is telling his companions this prayer that they should make. Anyway, the Jesus Seminary after analyzing the Lord's Prayer, concluded that the only words of the Lord's Prayer which could be accurately attributed to Jesus, meaning it's highly likely that this is what Jesus said, the only words turned out to be one word, which was Father. one word of the whole prayer which Christians have been saying for centuries believing that Jesus actually taught this now the meaning of the Lord's Prayer is good it has a good meaning 
And actually from the Islamic perspective, from Islam, there really isn't anything contradictory. Though the issue of God being the father, human beings being his children, is something which one may raise objection to, unless it is used in a metaphorical context, and it's understood that that's how it was used anyway. So the meaning was fine, but the reality in terms of scriptural authenticity was that it couldn't be attributed to Jesus.